Hi, and welcome to the Horizontal Bar Graph Customization Tutorial. Let's get started. We go to our project panel, go to the All Graphs folder. Let's look for the Horizontal Bar Graph folder and double click to open the Horizontal Bar, bar Graph composition. And as you can see in this comp, we can change our main text areas, our top main title text. So if you double click on those layers, you can type your text and you repeat that for our next line. And to change the fonts or the colors, you would go to our character panel. You can change your color with a color picker, uh, change the fonts in our list of fonts here. And we actually have the all caps button uh, selected. If you deselect that, um, it'll revert to whatever original formatting you had typed in. So we're gonna keep it that way. And in this comp, we also have our um, enter horizontal bar graph data composition. This is where we would actually customize the graph. And we have it in here twice. And this is how the um, graph animates out. So when it's done, it starts animating out. There we go. On the second layer, if we zoom in here, is actually backwards, it's actually time reversed. So it's actually just reversing the animation um, or the, the pre-comp. So the timing, that's what I meant to say. So there we go. And our text is also animated. So if we select those text layers and hit U on our keyboard, we'll bring up these uh, keyframes that actually animate the text out and you can move those if you wanna change the timing. So let's get started with animating our graph or entering our information. We'll go to the enter horizontal bar graph data comp. Um, the layer, you can actually double click on that in the timeline, or we can go back to our uh, folder and double click it, the composition to open it up. And here we go. Now we have some uh, a text layer here on the far left side, and we have our data here. You can double click to change any of that. Um, and you can line those up with each bar. So each bar um, data set has a prefix and a suffix next to the number. Uh, to change any of those, you're gonna uh, go to the type suffix here layer, double click that, and you can change uh, type in whatever you like. And when you change one, the rest of the suffix or prefix is changed as well. So you only have to change one and then they're all changed. So you would repeat that for the prefix as well. And if you wanted to turn those off, we're gonna go to our uh, Let's see, bar width, spacing, symbol size, control. And if we look at our prefix and suffix checkboxes, we can turn that off. You can actually turn both of them off if you like, if you don't need any of those, or you can just leave them on. And in this controller, we can also change the, the size of the bars, the bar width, you can make those bigger. You can also change the spacing between the bars. Let's well undo all that. And you can change our number size here as well. And you can also turn on and off bars. There's a total of a maximum of 10 bars uh, in this chart. So if you wanted less than that, you can just click on any of the a checkbox and you can turn those off or you can turn them back on. If we go to our next controller, it's uh, enter data here. The data here is actually animated. So we will be um, editing our data on a keyframe. So if we hit U on our keyboard, we're going to click on, here, let's move this over, click on the second keyframe in each uh, data set. So we have enter bar data 01, Double click on the second keyframe and you can change that to whatever you like. There you go. You can see our number and our bar have changed. And right now our maximum value is set to 600. You can change that to whatever you like and our bars will be dynamically uh, sized down uh, relative to whatever the maximum value is. So that's how you do that. 
And if we move on to our bar and number colors, this is where we can change all of our colors and each bar actually has um, its own color picker. They're all the same color right now just uh, for the sake of the preview, but if you wanted to make them different colors, you absolutely could do that. So you can change any of those colors. You can also change the text color here for our uh, text on the left on the left side of the graph. And you can change your number and symbol color here as well. There we go. Just undo those. Now our very last layer in this timeline is our graph controls. So if we twirl down to open that up, this is um, a shape layer, and in its contents we have um, a couple of different lines, and they're actually turned off right now, just for the sake of the preview, just because I like the way it looked. But if you wanted to turn on, uh, click the eyeball icon, you can turn on these grid lines in the background. And you also have um, X and Y units that you can add as well. And all of these have their own uh, controls in the effects control panel. You can change the thickness of the lines. You can um, extend the length, the spacing in between. Well, that's the units. So those are for the bottom. Uh, the grid spacing. So you have a lot of options here to even change the background grid. If you wanted to add more lines or you needed less lines, you could absolutely do that. 